Brothers and sisters, what's going on? Let's talk about dark energy. Okay. You have to understand that we as original beings, we contain lots of dark energy. Now that we know that we're 13 ether beings and not nine ether beings, we have to be able to that that's the whole point of, you know, evolving and evolution and learning new things. It's like, you know, when you've been accustomed to one thing, it's like it's hard to let go of it. And, you know, but it's easy to reprogram yourself. I am so serious. Um, just like when you make up your mind to get out of religion and what do you do? You literally reprogram yourself. So we're saying that we are nine ether beings when we found out it's the Africans that are nine ether beings, but we are 13 ether beings. All right. We're so into the 666 and the 666 was literally talking about nine ether beings who were... Uh, going to attack the 13 ether beings. Tell them, you know, it's, 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 it's deeper than what you can perceive, you know, even knowing that um, this figure called Jesus is the evil entity that feeds on your uh, uh, energy. How many brothers and sisters will want to reprogram their mind to see that Jesus is like a parasite that feeds on you, you know, and you think you get something from it when you're really not. You're really not, you know, you're feeding energy to, um, that's one of the, we, you know what, that's a whole different subject, a whole different subject. All right, so we're 13 ether beings, all right, and we deal with um, everything on the, cos on the cosmic level, we as original beings of this planet, we have planetary bodies, we have planetary elements within us, which means that we contain dark energy. This body itself is a vacuum. All right. It's a vacuum. And it is important that we understand how responsible we are for these bodies. It's like the, the way these bodies look, the way they operate, the way you act, you know, how you do things. We're responsible for these bodies. So for us to take time into meditation whether it be long or short it's important all right now dark energy let's talk about dark energy how a dark energy literally is designed to expand the universe all right now dark energy is literally like 68 percent of the universe and then you have um the other uh, 32 percent, which is, you know, plasma, ether, uh, other gases, helium, um, that's, that's dark energy. Dark energy is, is the 68 percent of the universe. OK, we as the original beings, um, we contain extremely powerful levels of dark energy in us as well. Here in our planet, on our planet, in our realm, dark energy is present. Why? Because you look up in the sky, what do you see? You see space. All right. That's saying dark energy that's within space. It's within our atmosphere. Okay. But the whole key point is we have to understand how it operates. So we as original beings, you know, let's, let's go into the history before our planet was invaded, before the Moors invaded our planet. Let's go into some history, how we literally could operate on the fullest level of different types of energy. And we knew this energy. We well, think all the, the, the beast beings got all this information from them about dark energy and dark matter. They got it from us because we knew about it. Dark energy what the white scientists say is a mysterious substance that expands the universe. Okay. We as original beings within our vessels, m huge amounts of dark energy within our vessels. For some of us, the dark energy is dormant. All right. You have to activate this dark energy within you through your meditation, through believing in your self, self-awareness. Okay. You start to understand that you are nature, that you're the cosmos, you know, that you are a being of cosmic 
um, descent, all right, which means that you are descended of the cosmos herself as an original being. All right, remember, got to remember, we were not created in the labs. We were birthed by the planet. And by us being birthed by the planet, our planet is a cosmic body, which means that everything that's within her is not within us. And this is why, like we say, we go back to why they want to take our organs, because we're the only beings and not the Africans. Africans are completely different from us. You don't see them running after their organs. No, 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 no. It's us. Okay? It's us. So, dark energy is everywhere and all around us. And when we go into a higher state of mind, what happens is we cause an, ex an expansion of this energy. Now, when we start beginning, this, when we begin tapping into the ether, now ether is a gas. Ether is a gas. We begin to tap into the ether within us when we start going to our state of meditation because there's a whole chemical process that takes place. It's a whole chemical process, the ether, your, the plasma energy, the dark energy, the dark matter that's within us that makes up our organs, all right? And all this energy, the photon energy, you know, all, this, all these different gases and chemicals within us began to mix, and they come through our head, all right? Halo, you remember your halo? Your halo, yeah come through our head, all right? And this energy, which is literally a frequency, links into the atmosphere, all right? Which activates the dark energy in this realm, causing an expansion just like the universe. All right, you understand that? Now, within our bodies are multiple black holes, or what's inside these black holes? Dark energy. Henceforth, the reason why we have a whole species who need us, several species who are working together, that need us to be in a sleep state. Because when we begin to operate under the forces of dark energy, we begin to um, open up all kind of gateways within us, which are, nothing, which are also known as black holes, all right? Because each one of your chakras is literally a black hole, all right? Each one of your chakras is literally a black hole. And that is from, from that and that within the black hole, there is energy that comes through it. Or entities come, come through our vessels as well, all right? Understand who we are, all right? So this dark energy and the dark matter, all this right here, literally um, works together and it expands the magnetic energy within us, which you call magic, is the magnetic forces. And therefore, we operate on a much higher level. So this is why it's important for brothers and sisters to understand and overstand dark energy. When you go into your state of meditation, you're taking your deep breaths. Deep breathing meditation is beneficial, okay? Yes, deep breathing meditation is beneficial. So when you go to this state of deep breathing meditation, you're activating dark energy um, particles within your body, all right? Because there are different types of dark energy, all right? So you're here. And you feel the energy in your hands, right? That's dark energy. You feel that's dark energy. As you breathe, and you can feel it like feel like it's spinning. It's spinning. So you have to understand that in our highest state of mind, as we increase the dark energy within us, we are this realm. We are the planet. We increase the dark energy in the planet. It's all around us. It's everywhere. Uh, this is the, the importance of the awakening because no matter what mankind does, no matter what he thinks he wants to have, wants to, 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 to plan for us, 
We are the ones who literally made the final decision. You remember that was, um, those of you who have been following me for a while, you remember years ago, when we talked about artificial intelligence, we talked about this AI, and someone asked questions, they said, how do we fight against AI? And I said, use dark energy. Why? Because there was mechanical vessels are not designed to contain such a force. And it would literally cause them to break down. Our sun is dark energy. Our moon is dark energy. The wind is literally pure dark energy. That's why when you listen to the whites and you talk to the white science, they say when the wind blows, it takes electrons from our body because their the electrons in their bodies are different from the electrons in our bodies. Completely two completely different species of beings. Same thing with the Mongolians. It takes electrons from their bodies. Okay, so. Are you here? And what you're doing, you're here, you start doing that deep breathing. You have the dark energy, this energy here, and this energy here. So you have a, a negative dark energy and a positive dark energy. All right? You have the, the poles, you know, the polarities of your body split right down the middle. You have positive, negative. Okay? Positive, negative. Right down in the middle, it's where your neutral energy is. But you're here and you're sharing, you're pairing the dark, the, the, the negative and positive together. Opposites attract, you hear? Understand that. So, dark energy, when we expand in the darkness within ourselves, the expansion house on the, I'm, I'm sorry, expansion happens on the outside of us as well. All right, which we're the ones, our energies cause nature to become stronger and more powerful because we are the atoms of nature. Nature is this colossal organism. We are the atoms of nature, which is why um, we hate these, these Moors, the Mongolians, the whites. They work so hard to keep us from coming into this awakened state. You know, they tell us, oh, this is the melting pot and everybody's the same. And we brought this, this, and this, and this. And, we don't, everybody's coming together as one. How can you come together as one when you do not possess the planetary organisms that is necessary to operate the, the fullest level of spirituality. How can you? It's impossible. Right? No matter what they say, no matter what they do, you gotta understand they are playing the game. It's all mental. Right? Dark energy keeps you balanced. Alright? And the thing about Dark energy is when you begin to work in the different areas of dark energy. When you come into a situation, dark energy keeps you balanced. And therefore, you're able to think because when you get emotional, you can't think. You, you, you literally can't think. You, you can't ration. You can't. Let me see how I'm going to do this because it's like you're, you're emotional. It's like your endorphins is just all over the place. But when you are linked into the darkness, what happens? You can think. And you can pass energy. All right. And if you want to, if you need to, if you need to blow. If you need them, motion, yaru. If you need to say chance. If you need to, oh, however you need to do to pass this energy. Because you can think clearly. Dark energy keeps you in balance. 
So it's important that you understand the powers of the darkness. Right? And this is where you link into everything. I link into the power of the darkness. I link into the forces of the darkness. So you have to remember that we're within a base reality. But this base reality that we're in, we can expand this to be an advanced reality. But it's all about the mental. How the mental operates. I link to the foundation of dark energy. Hold on, hold on here, hold on, hold on. I want you to listen to this right here. Because this literally like almost matches to what I was going to say. It said, the foundation of the current understanding of dark energy is the concept of a cosmological constant, which essentially means that space itself possesses an intrinsic energy density, also often referred to as vacuum energy, that drives the acceleration and expansion of the universe. This is considered the simplest explanation Although the exact nature of dark energy remains a mystery and other theories exist like quintessence where dark energy could be a dynamic field with charging properties. All right. So you have, you have dark energy, electrons and dark energy, protons. You have dark energy, neutrons, which literally creates the nuclei the dark energy atoms and when these dark energy atoms come together they begin to create a force therefore as dark energy grows the universe expands and as dark energy grows in us what happened we expand and we begin to expand in knowledge different levels of intelligence we expand in the force itself that's why it's important to meditate often so when you're looking into the foundation of dark energy you're looking into the, you're looking into the atomic structure the very center of dark energy is in the center of the cosmos which no man in his physical means can reach the center of the cosmos it's so far away from where we are it's, it's the only way you can reach the center of the cosmos is through spirit all right, so dark energy is literally that proportion of force and power that is within us that strengthens us. So that is why it's important for us to be in the ways of the darkness. The ways of the darkness is the ways of the force. The dark energy is the force, which is literally the, the, the makeup of the cosmos itself. All right, and within the dark energy, you have all these gases, frequencies these vibrations, different energies. You have, do you have dark energy crystals? Yes, they're dark energy crystals. So it's important that you understand how dark energy works. Um, let's go. Okay, you have dark energy crystals. Um, and these crystals produce some of the most powerful um, crystals. All right. Fluorite, it's a dark energy crystal. Labradite, black obsidian, blue kanite. Amethyst, those are three different types of dark energy crystals. All right, so it's important that you understand um, how or what understand what dark energy is. It's a force, and these scientists say it's a mysterious force, but it's the energy, it's the it's the makeup of the cosmos. That's what it is, and this is how the cosmos operates. So you know you can you have to. Um, You have to literally begin to understand the different types, the, the different types of dark energies that we operate with. Let me see if um, 
So, um, hold on here, hold on, hold on. Now, according to scientists, this tectite is the only known crystal that can absorb dark energy. And it is, it comes directly from a, um, media out of space. But, I say different because you have Moldavite, which comes from outer space, and it absorbs dark energy. We have 375 rare crystals within our blood that absorbs dark energy. And the reason why it's rare because the crystals that are within us do not exist anywhere else. That's why they need our plasma. All right, because our plasma is full of these rare crystals that cannot be found anywhere. So, I just wanted to share it with you all. How dark energy operates. We carry the darkness. So it's important that you expand in this darkness as well. Dark energy is made of protons, electrons, neutrons, but it's of a cosmic makeup. All right? It's of a cosmic makeup, and it creates this powerful, illustrious energy. All right? That can sometimes, under certain circumstances, illuminate without the presence of plasma. All right, so as we expand in the darkness, the dark energy and dark forces will become more powerful, become more knowledgeable. All right, we become more energetic, and we become more intelligent. All right. Stop worrying about what other people are doing. Stop focusing on focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. That's all you got to do is focus on yourself. And you become more powerful. Dark energy protects you from all types of spiritual attacks as well as physical attacks. All right? Dark energy is the most powerful substance ever known. All right? So, let's, in, let's acquire the darkness within us. To the forces of the darkness. Oh, I think it's to the power of the darkness. I am the darkness. I am the power that is within the power. You see what I'm saying? So it's important that you understand dark energy. And the more you the dark energy expands in you. Remember the butterfly effect? It affects the atmosphere, it affects the planet. All right. When we're in our sleep state, these beings could do whatever they want to do. But now that we're in our waking state, well, it's not so obvious. All right. And sooner or later, they're going to have to stop all their things because the, black, the dark energy is, is also a teacher. The dark energy teaches you. We can link it to the darkness. We link it to dark energy. You say it within yourself, I link it to dark energy. I link it to the knowledge and the wisdom of the darkness. Well, because we are part of the cosmic order, you linking directly into the knowledge and the wisdom of the darkness, you begin to get taught by the dark energy. Understand that? You begin to get taught by the darkness, so you got to delve into this. You can feel your hand. You can feel your feet sometimes, because you can hold your feet up in the air, or if you feel like you're from the side of a stool. as well.
dark energy. It's a power and force that belongs to us. And we must take advantage of all of it. So now that we have awakened, we are causing the, 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 the space within our realm to expand. And the more it expands, the more dense the energy becomes. The more dense the energy, the hotter it becomes. All right. You can. I'm, I'm serious. Because. Um, let's just say. When fluid is heated, the region of the closest contact with the heat the source becomes less dense due to increased kinetic energy, the decrease in density involved, buoyancy. So when you start talking about increasing the the they say they say they say that the, the density the decreased density creates heat, but it's different in in the term of cosmic order because they're trying to say um in the science in in the science world they're trying to say that the more dense something is the more cooler it is but you're talking about cosmic density okay so um we go into here see I say, brother, sisters, y'all gotta learn how to use this internet. All right, y'all really do. Y'all gotta learn how to use this internet. Cosmic density. Um. Let's see. Let's see what the scientists say about cosmic density. Um. I know cosmic density is variance around. Okay, they get all these mathematical equations because they don't understand this. <laughs> okay, when you start talking about cosmic density, you're talking about a source of energy and a source of power that is designed to um, increase or expand because just like on our planet, you know, they say it's gravity, no, it's density, all right? We're dealing with density. We're dealing with a completely different scientific studies. There's no such thing as gravity. Just like when someone said, you know, it's, it's the, um, the iron that's in our blood that keeps us connected to the magnetic field of the planet. So you're talking about density. So as you increase the density, you increase the energy, all right? And you're talking about the dark energy density, cosmic density, all right? In the sense of the cosmos, so you got pure cosmic uh, energy coming in to the planet, increasing the levels of dark energy. And we, as original beings, are responsible for this. Take your time. Meditate. Focus on the darkness. It's the actions you take. You know, sit up and say, I'm waiting on nature because you are nature. All right? You're nature. So you waiting on yourself? Or are you going to do something to make things happen? expanding your consciousness you're expanding everything all right so i just want to share it with you all all right the power of dark energy the the, the, the science behind dark energy because we can understand when you increase the darkness you change the chemistry and when the chemistry is changed well that means your frequencies and vibrations as well change because chemistry is based on frequencies and vibrations right all right, guys, just want to share it with you all. 
and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, much power to you all.